Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. Dear friend, you can become a leader. You can become a pioneer. You can become a role model for others. You can become an example for others. Today I am going to speak from the life of Joshua. Joshua was born as a slave. He grew up as a slave and he served in the country of Egypt as a slave. Though he was born, raised up and served as a slave, God had a plan in the life of Joshua that he should be the leader of Israel who will be enabling the people of Israel to enter into the promised land called Canaan and he will be the one who is going to divide the land for the 12 tribes of Israel. Yes, dear friend, in your life also, your origin may be a slave to the circumstances. But God says, I will make you as a leader. And how is this going to happen? I will just give you an illustration. There is a term called chrysalis. It is the process of a caterpillar becoming a butterfly. A caterpillar cannot move so fast. It has to crawl. It is a symbol of slavery. It can't fly. It can't move very soon from one place to another. But there is a process in between. It get inside, it, it is getting inside the pupa and it waits there for a period of time and then after that it starts flying as a butterfly. It will be beautiful and it will be delighting others. Yes, dear friend, even in your life you may be going through slavery due to the circumstances or the situations. But God says, first of all, you need to believe that God can make you as a leader. As he transformed Joshua from a slave to a leader, God is going to transform you. First of all, you need to believe that God can use me. God will use me to become a leader. Now, what is keeping you away from believing in God that he will make you as a leader is, first of all, the situations, the circumstances that is before you is keeping you away from believing in God that he will make you as a leader. Many times you made several attempts, made efforts, you talk, you took a lot of in initiatives, still you failed. Because of all those failures, you came to the conclusion that it is not possible anymore. Even if I'm going to try once again, I'm going to fail once again. So there is no point of taking effort anymore. Dear friend, the situations may be against you and your efforts so far might have failed. And thirdly, you may be feeling that you are so weak to compete. You, you may feel that you are not able to succeed. But you need to understand one thing. If you believe in God that one day or the other, as he makes the caterpillar into a butterfly, he is going to make you as a leader out of a slavery, out of a slave. Secondly, you need to allow God to work in you. How you are going to allow? Two important things. First, you need to allow God to pick out what is inside you, what is not necessary. That has to be taken out by God. And secondly, you need to allow God to impart what is needed to become a leader. Moses, initially he was a man who gets angry easily. But God started to work in him. He took out the anger out of him later in the book of Numbers. Chapter 12, it is written that Moses is the man who is meek. It was certified by God himself that there was no man like Moses. So in our life, God 
will take us and use us as a leader when we believe and secondly when we allow. Also we should not make any excuse about the situations and the circumstances about our weaknesses and also we should not accuse our parents or anybody for our failures and our inabilities and our incapabilities. So when we believe and when we allow, when we stop ex making excuse and accusing others, God is going to make you as a leader and one day you will testify like Joshua that God had made me to be a leader. God bless you. God bless you.